guys are doing well today. Welcome back to my channel and to the beginning of autumn or fall content. I'm very, very excited. I put on my most Rory Gilmore sweater that I own, although I'm a little unsure about it because it is a very high neck, but I think this is really cute. I got this on Poshmark. It is a J. Crew cashmere sweater, like cable knit, but it has these like balloon sleeves and it's kind of cropped. So I'll show you guys a full outfit in just a moment, full outfit look. But I just wanted to introduce the vlog and it is a perfectly overcast, rainy and chilly day today. It is about 65 degrees Fahrenheit and it's just like that beginning of the autumn weather and I'm very excited. So I thought as an ode to this cooler weather, we would start working on my first fall project of the year. And I'm a little nervous because I am doing a pattern without a video tutorial, which if you have been following me on this beginner's sewing journey, you will know that every project I have ever made, I have followed Lauren Johnson's YouTube tutorials because she explains things really well. I love her style and I love her. So it's a way of supporting her. And I also just think she, her tutorials are chef's kiss. But this dress that I wanna make, she's not made anything similar to. So we are trying it on our own. Let's talk about the dress first. So there is a company called Gal Meets Glam, which is no longer in business. And a couple years ago, a few years ago, they released a dress called the Genie Dress. I will put some pictures of it over here. It's a really cute kind of, not a mini length, but not a midi length. It's kind of that mid range, like a knee length dress with these tortoiseshell buttons, this plaid fabric, and a little bit longer short sleeves. And I just think it is absolutely darling. But this dress in the Galmi's Glam resale community is considered a unicorn, which basically means it's very rare. So I have seen these secondhand go from anywhere to $180 to $450. So I did not have the budget for that. So I thought I would try and recreate this. So I've actually been looking for fabric for this specific project in mind for several months now. Was looking online, was looking in stores, could never find anything. Well then, a couple months ago, I was at Joann's looking for some fabric for a summer circle skirt. I didn't end up find any, finding any, but I happened to wander back to the clearance section and I found this fabric that you've seen in the back there. And it is this woven 100% cotton fabric in this brown, I don't know what you would call this type of plaid but I really loved it. It has this little bit of rust color in there, which I feel like just brings even more fall vibes. And I thought it was perfect. So I ended up buying five yards of it because I wanted a lot to work with in case something went wrong with the dress or if I didn't like the style on me, I could potentially make something else with it. So I bought all of this. It was $5 a yard, which I feel like is a really good price for the type of fabric it is. I've never sewn with woven fabric before. And so that's gonna be a new experience. And then the pattern that I ended up finding was from Etsy and it is from the storefront Vicky Sews and it is the Esther dress, which I feel like is very, very similar to the Genie dress. The neckline is a little bit lower and it's obviously this midi length, but my thought was I could shorten the length to a more knee length for me and keep it in that similar style because that's something that I really liked about that dress. I liked the length of it. I own another dress in that length and I actually really like it on me. So I think it'd be kind of cute for fall. But that being said, it's something I can really only wear for the beginning of the fall season. Our autumn season gets really chilly pretty quickly. So I wanted to make it now before it gets too cold. So we'll see how this goes. I had thought about raising the neckline just a touch, but I don't really know how to do that. And I think this already has darts in it, which I've never done before. So that's gonna be a whole new thing. And it has a lot of buttons, which I have maybe done once. So a couple of new things we're going to do. The instructions look really good on this pattern. So I'm nervous but excited per the usual with all of my sewing projects. But I thought since it feels so autumnal, we would make a nice warm drink. I'm thinking either a London Fog or a Chai Tea Latte and then we could watch You've Got Mail, which is one of my 
favorite, favorite movies. So, fun fact about You've Got Mail, we grew up on old black and white movies and we loved the movie called Shop Around the Corner with James Stewart and I don't remember the actress's name, but we love that movie. Little did I know that You've Got Mail was based off of that movie and so it just has a very special place in my heart. Plus it's a 90s rom-com and I'm a 90s baby so it just feels very nostalgic. So let's make a little drink and start the movie and then we will work on cutting out the fabric pieces. But first, before I forget, here's a little OOTD. So I've got this J. Crew sweater on and then I have my bell bottom jeans on. I don't know how well you can see me, but I think it's pretty cute. It feels very autumnal. Um, and then I've also got my Anna Luisa necklace on, which this is one of my favorites. And then I just have my little studs on because I normally wear my hoops, but I just didn't want to be bothered with them today. So I just put my pearls in. So, or the studs. Anyway, I've been talking for far too long. Let's go make a nice cozy drink. We're already halfway through the movie and I just now figured out what size I am and I'm hoping I'm doing this right. I may be biting off a little bit more than I can chew. Evidently this is an intermediate pattern, inter intermediate pattern. Um, so we'll see, but I'm on my second cup of this masala chai tea, which I got this mix from Target and it is very good. So now we are going to get ready to hopefully cut out the pieces of the fabric. I hope I don't mess this up. <laughs> Oh, and my hair. Oh my goodness. I need to take a shower. Goodness. Anyway, Rose is in bed. Caleb is busy doing something. So we are going to attempt to sew darts, I think, is the first thing. No idea how to do that, so I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, but I just want to kind of get it started. I have a feeling this dress is going to take me a lot longer than I was expecting just because of all of the new things that I'm going to be doing. I've never sewn buttonholes and I have never done darts before. So. so even if I just get that done, that will be a start because I do know I'm going to need to go to Joann's and get interfacing and buttons because I haven't picked out any buttons for this dress yet. So let's see what I can get done. I'm actually messaging Lauren right now about some things and she's so sweet and getting back to me so quickly and it's she's just the best. So if she's watching this, mwah, I love you so much, Lauren. Um, so anyway, fangirling aside, let's start.
call it a night for now. So I did the darts on the front and back and hopefully they fit. I'll show you guys what they look like. So this is the wrong side of the fabric, but I think I did them correctly. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. So I will end up sewing these side seams tomorrow and then working on the sleeves. But I think I'm going to take a break for now. I actually might go and try to play a song on the piano really quickly and then get ready for bed. So we have a little bit moody lighting down here because the overhead light is really bright and the light comes from behind me. So it's almost like distracting to have it. So I have the lamp pulled up by the piano, but I was listening to the new Leve album, her Bewitched album, and she has this song called Nocturne. It's like the interlude in the middle of the album and it's just beautiful. So I had forgotten I think like a week ago, she released all of her sheet music for free and I downloaded it all so I have it on my phone. So I thought I would just practice a couple chords of it. There's a part in the middle of the song that is just enchanting. So I thought I would try and play that really quickly before I go to bed and we will see how it goes. And Chiro is coming to join us. He will not go to bed until I... There was Chiro's nocturne. <laughs> sleeves on the bodice so it is getting there it kind of looks like a vest right now but now it actually says to start working on the skirt normally I would put the sleeves in at this point but I guess we'll start working on the skirt so that should be pretty easy and I'm pretty excited <laughs> what I got done today. So I got the skirt attached. I'm definitely going to shorten this and I actually think this is going to be a little bit too big. So I'm thinking I will add another dart up at the top here to bring in the back a little bit because it does gape at the back for me. Um, but so far I'm actually really pleased with it. It's really wrinkly and has strings all over it, but I think the fabric plays really well with the fabric of the original dress. So let's see what it would look like with one of the buttons. So that is what it will look like with the buttons and then obviously we'll have the sleeves. So I'm pretty excited. I'm trying to decide when I should adjust the length. I think what I might do is figure out this bodice portion first, and then I'll adjust the length and then we can add the buttons and everything, but it's getting there, you guys. I'm pretty happy. Good morning, welcome to day three. This tea kind of tastes like coffee because I normally use the French press to make coffee for my husband. Anyway, good morning. We are on, I think, day three of working on the project. And so I thought I would kind of show you 
where we are. I did a couple things yesterday. Rose was playing up here, so I had a little bit of extra time to work on this. So I'll show you what we did. So as I mentioned, I wanted to shorten the dress from the original dress. So I went off of the length of my favorite dress still to this day. This is actually also a Gal Meets Glam dress. This is their Cecily dress, Cecily, it's C-E-C-I-L-Y. I adore this dress. I will never get rid of this dress. But anyway, I really like the length of this on me. Um, it hits me right about at my knee and so I feel like it's really flattering. So I laid these two next to each other and just measured from the bottom of the dress and cut off where I thought I needed to. I obviously took into account the hem and everything so I didn't do it exactly this length. Um, but I ended up doing that yesterday. So here it is so far. I think I showed you guys it already on the hanger. I know for a fact I'm going to have to take the back in. Today my plan is to actually work on the sleeves this morning and maybe get the sleeves set in and then later on this afternoon I'm going to try my, oh I can never think of the word, my dart at the top. We'll see if I end up regretting that but I have to do something and I don't want to take apart everything that I did to make the back panel smaller. But so far I'm really happy with it. There is one section where my skirt did not catch the bodice piece. So I need to fix that this morning as well. Um, but it is getting there, you guys. I am really, really happy with it. I kind of did a mock-up. I like laid the sleeves on me when I had this on me this morning. And I'm really, really, really excited. So yeah, it's, it's getting there. I don't think I'm gonna finish it today. Um, hopefully tomorrow. We don't have very much going on today or tomorrow, so I'm hoping to finish it by at least tomorrow. Today is Wednesday, so we will see. Let's start working on the sleeves. Oh, but before, I'll show you my outfit. So jewelry is Anna Luisa, like always, the pearl necklace, and are you sick of seeing these yet? I also got a little claw clip for my hair, you know. And then I'm wearing my vintage Laura Ashley blouse and my favorite, but you cannot see, wide leg jeans from Madewell. So it's chilly this morning, like really chilly. I have to go put on a pair of socks. Let's get sewing. So I just came downstairs from working on the dress. I wasn't able to film a ton because I had several calls back to back. That's how it always happens, but that's okay. They were lovely conversations with each person. Um, but what I did end up doing was I took off an inch from the two center pieces. That seems to help. I kind of folded it over with the interfacing, just kind of haphazardly did that just to see, and I think that should be enough. So I ended up doing that. I added the interfacing to those two front pieces, and I started working on the back. I did sew a dart in it, um, but I may need to bring it in just a little bit more, so I'm gonna wait to mess with that until after I get the buttons on, but we are getting there. Really, the last things that we need to do is sew on the buttons, sew the buttonholes, and then hem the bottom of the dress. I need to finish off my seams, like zigzag stitch them on the sleeves. So I think we should be able to finish it in the next two days, but I have to take a break for now because I have a piano lesson in about an hour, so I'm trying to get my house cleaned up so it's not a total disaster because I think I've said this before, but when I start projects, I tend to get really tunnel visioned and just like focus on the project and forget about everything else. So I don't know if you can, probably can't see behind me, but there's a ton of dishes that I just washed. So anyway, let me clean up a little bit and then I will talk to you guys in a little while. Have some more wine, cause life is for living. Let's see where the sun might lead. To a 
So the dress is done as you can see and I am pretty pleased with it. I feel like it really represents the genie dress. It's not quite the same but I feel like you can tell that that was my inspiration. Um, I really love the fit. I love this fabric. I feel like the fabric helps so so much and I think it will just be the perfect thing to wear for fall. I do need to get some proper shoes to wear with it though because I just have my little ballet flats, which I don't feel do it quite the justice that it could. However, that being said, I do have some thoughts and something to tell you guys here in a moment. I do feel like it is a fairly plain dress, so I think it would look really cute with like a thin belt to wear around the waistline um, just to kind of help. And I think you could really use some like accessories, maybe like a silk scarf or something like that, and I think it would make it really cute. Now, that being said, we're gonna talk about the construction of the dress. So, once I finished sewing the buttons on in the last clip that you guys saw, I tried the dress on and I hated it. I did such a bad job with my buttonholes and my button placement, and I was really disappointed because I was afraid I was just gonna have to scrap the whole thing, and that just really broke my heart. So I took a couple days off, and I came back and reevaluated what I needed to do. So what I ended up actually doing was sewing these two pieces together where the buttons were supposed to hold and I just made the buttons to be faux buttons so they don't actually work. In doing that I had to add a zipper to the back so those are the adjustments that I made to the fit. I definitely made too many sizes too big on this pattern which was my own fault. I was just it was really confusing on the sizing of this pattern. I also ended up switching out the buttons for these more tortoise shell looking buttons. I put the other ones on the dress and I was looking at it and they were just a little bit too dark for the fabric. So I went and got some new buttons. So those are the things that I did different with the construction of this dress. I was going to film it, but honestly I was so frustrated and disappointed and just kind of burnt out at that point that I figured I would just tell you guys what I ended up doing. So this is the dress I am really really pleased with it after all of the problems I had with it I feel like it's exactly how I envisioned it so that being said I'm going to end the vlog here if you guys did enjoy this video please let me know in a comment down below I always love reading them and if you guys want to subscribe you are more than welcome to we have over 300 of you which is making me so happy so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will talk to you guys in the next one Mwah.